Fear. So before I get started, I want to give a thank you to the sponsor of this video, Best Fiends Forever. You guys already heard about Best Fiends, the game that had me hopelessly addicted. Well, this is the sequel to that game. It's got all the same characters and plot that you know and love, except instead of solving puzzles, this game is all about how fast you can smack them. Because who needs brains when you have brute force? The game just launched in the App Store, and I already love beating up on digital slugs as my own personal form of therapy. I just pretend the different slugs are my childhood bullies. Yeah, take that, Mikey. Who's the weirdo now, Mikey? How therapeutic. Now I got a reward. But for now, let's talk about dates. Previously, as some of you guys may remember, I already taught you guys how to ask out that potential special someone. And if you didn't catch that, then you can just click right over here. So by now, hopefully that person has said yes. Maybe you guys are already chatting online. There might even already be a date set up. And it's usually when you're getting ready for that first date that you realize that asking them out was the easy part. Now it's time for the hard part. All right, so here's the first thing that you need to do. Take a deep breath in, hold it, and now let it out slowly. Relax. There is always gonna be a little bit of nerves whenever you go out with someone new. That is pretty much a given. But the last thing that you wanna do is get so nervous that you choke up and make a fool of yourself. Hi, how are you? Or, if you're like me, you have the opposite problem. So then Deadpool came from Weapon X. So Weapon X is the same program that created Wolverine. Now, you know Wolverine, the guy with the claws and stuff. But, but Deadpool came from there too. And the way that they created Deadpool is that it was a guy named Wade Wilson who was just this kind of generic mercenary. He was really, really good at what he did. And then he got terminal cancer. So the way that they tried to save his life is they tried to give him Wolverine's healing DNA. Not cute. My first date with Will was a lot like that. Just ask him if you don't believe me. So do yourself and your date a favor and just try to calm your nerves a little bit. Realize that the two of you are pretty much in the same boat. You're out somewhere with someone you don't really know all that well. Chances are that you'll both be a little nervous and looking for cues from the other person. So instead of sitting there and feeding off of each other's nervous energy, do yourself a favor and just embrace the awkwardness. So, so, I'm sorry, I'm not really good at this like random small talk thing. Me neither. Hopefully by the time you get to this moment, you will have taken advantage of another tip, and that is do your homework. We're not settlers anymore. We've got technology and social media at our disposal. Chances are the person you're going out with has some kind of online presence. So use that to your advantage. It's like a first date cheat sheet. See what their interests are. What have they been posting about? What kind of opinions have they been sharing? Research those ahead of time. That way, when you are hanging out with them in person, you will have an idea of where to potentially start a conversation. So I saw on Twitter, you posted that you're watching This Is Us. Oh my God. Did you see the most recent episode? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me no spoilers. Oh, uh, no, I won't. Okay. Show. First the episode. Brother. It was so good the way that it all just like, oh. I know, and you're like, oh, they're all a family. Oh. Boom! Awkward silence be gone. But obviously, don't get too specific and come across like a stalker. So I saw that you posted a photo from the Arclight in Hollywood on September the 22nd at exactly 8.04 p.m. Probably. You said you saw that one horror movie with the blind guy? You said it made you jump a bunch of times? Yeah, it was, uh, it's pretty scary. Yeah, that's a little too much. But I think it is okay to say that you looked at a person's social media. I mean, everybody does it, whether they cop to it or not. You just don't have to share how in-depth your stalking was. Again, just realize that you're just trying to research potential topics of conversation. And so that you don't do something like invite a vegan to a barbecue place, which I have seen happen and it was not pretty. And while we're on the topic of conversations, do your best to keep it balanced. You obviously don't want to be too quiet because then that'd be awkward, but you also don't want to single-handedly dominate the conversation. But if you guys are both talking freely, then that's generally a good sign. But more importantly, when it comes to conversation topics, Keep it light. There will hopefully be plenty of time down the road to discuss all the tricky subjects like emotional baggage and religion and all those other fun things. So try your best this first time around to avoid all of those and stick to fun and easy topics, lest you have something like this happen. And you know, because a third party candidate is basically just like a waste of a vote, and so like... Um, 
I plan on moving third party. I I just kind of meant that, you know, statistically, with yeah, let's do our best to try to avoid that. And if you read dating guides, they'll also talk about other things like, you know, opening doors or pull out a chair or how do you dress and all of that. But generally, when it comes to all those things, I think they can be taken care of with just one tip, and that is look like you care. I mean, that's really the purpose of all of those little courtesies. You want the other person to have a good time, and so you make that extra little bit of effort. So you just wanna make sure that that little extra bit of effort is visible to the other person and that you keep them in mind when you're making certain decisions. When picking an outfit, don't be sloppy and don't overdo it. Just make it clear that you have put some effort into your appearance and that you care what you look like when you're with them in public. And same goes for other little things whenever you guys are together. So I know you mentioned how you really like Froyo. Mm. I actually know a really good Froyo place that's like walking distance from here. From here? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Do you want to go like Check it out. Yeah. Some dessert. Yeah. Okay, let me let me get the check. But perhaps the most important thing to keep in mind when it comes to first dates is beware of expectations. First of all, so many people fall into the trap of treating a date like it's an interview to be someone's spouse. And you can't be like that. That's way too much pressure to put on them and to put on yourself. The whole purpose of a date is for you to just get together with someone and have fun. And that should really be the only goal. And so if you guys end up having fun, then that's great. If you guys decide you wanna get together later on or even later that night, that's also great. But the key is not to expect any of that moving forward. All that does is really put pressure on you and or the other person and set you up for disappointment. Not to mention that expecting a second date can sometimes make you look entitled. So do yourself a favor and just keep all of that in check. Best case, you spend some time with someone, you enjoy it, and you guys decide that you're gonna spend more time together. Worst case, you strike out and you're just back to square one. Which may be frustrating, but uh, hey, at least now you can take it out on the slugs. Thanks again to Best Fiends Forever for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check them out below. Like I said, they just launched, so I haven't really been playing them for all that long, but I am already hooked. So make sure you check the link. Also, while you're down there, make sure to give me a thumbs up and share any fun date tips or stories that you may have to share. Feel free to subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications so that you do not miss a video. And I will see you guys soon with another one. Until then, my name is RJ, not Adam. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to talk to you.